Cheetah should be here any second. All right, this is weird. I'll get this thing going. Uh, the gate was 1.1 million. The attendance was 16,080. <clears throat> the fight of the night was Lozon versus Varner. The KO of the night was Mike Swick. And the sub of the night was Joe Lozon. The uh, bonuses were $50,000. So Lozon wins $100,000. He should have been here to hear it. <laughs> Any questions for us three? Well, you guys, tell me what you think, but it's just everything I've seen from Lyoto Machida looks like he wants this fight worse than, than Shogun does. Shogun hasn't shown me anything that, that he's demanding to fight John Jones again. Machida is. Uh, just, more than just the knockout, you know what I mean? Did you feel like uh, the main event was, you know, Shogun's conditioning was bad, and was, did that have something to do no, with it? No, you know, I, you have all this stuff where you got, like, uh, you know, everybody's a, a, an expert, everybody's a genius, everybody's got an opinion. You can't put a number or, or a ranking or a rating on somebody's heart and determination. Brandon Vera told me at the last press conference that he was going to, you know, he was going to stick it on Saturday night, and he did. He came out tonight and fought like he wanted to win that fight, and he stood toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Shogun was actually shooting on him. You know what I mean? Brandon Vera came to fight tonight, and, and uh, he looked awesome. Do you, know, do you look at Lyoto and the changes he's made? It's not that long ago that he fought John. Mm -hmm. Uh, he fought a little differently against Machida tonight, maybe back to his old style. That says anything that he could beat John, given the wide gap that was there before them, between them the first Well, time. him and his management has been all over me, terrorizing me, uh, to get him fights that would get him back to the, to the title. And um, what I can tell you is he wants it bad. You know, that's, that's, that's very important to me, how bad a guy actually wants that fight, and Lyoto Machida wants it bad. And I'm sure Lyoto has laid in bed every night since that fight, thinking of all the things that he should have done and what he could do and what's possible, and now he's got it. So we'll see. We'll find out. If uh, Dana, can I ask <clears throat> some of these guys questions in there? Yes. Mike, I just there was uh, some people were complaining about your second punch and third punch on uh, – on DeMarcus, and I was wondering if you can kind of talk about that. In retrospect, uh, do you regret, you know, you knocked him out with the first one, throwing the last two. Was there ever any, you know, thought in your mind of, hey, do I need to do those? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, at the time, I was just in the mode, and I, I definitely didn't notice. Um, you know, I've seen fights where, where guys have done that, and I was like, oh, man, that's, that's excessive. But, you know, I, I'd hit him with some really hard shots in the first, and, and it didn't put him down, and he was coming after me. So... When I had the opportunity, I was just unloading everything I had, trying to get the fight over with. Cool. And uh, if I may, uh, one question for Lyoto. Uh, Lyoto, congratulations. Uh, Dana uh, made the comment, you're going to get the title shot, and he said that you, he felt you wanted it badly. Can you talk about what it's been like since you lost, uh, not only the title, but lost to John Jones in that fight and in, uh, in your determination to get back? O Dana falou que você vai challenge para o cinturão, que ele falou que viu que você quer muito o cinturão de volta. Fala como é que tem sido desde que você perdeu o cinturão e desde essas últimas derrotas. Uh, I just keep my training since when I lost my my last fight, and I try to change some things in my training. I moved to Hit to America to to get a, a new sparring and. That's it. And 
I, you know, uh, we don't know who you're going to fight yet, but if it was John Jones, do you see anything in him that makes him vulnerable to think that you would be able to turn that result around? I mean, it would seem to have to be something dramatic considering the result. Of course, uh, he has a weak point, but it's very hard to see because John is very loose with fights. All the time he changed his style. Sometimes he kicks, sometimes he punch. He's good wrestling. But maybe I have to train more wrestling to avoid his takedown. Cool. And then one for Joe, please. Uh, Joe, with getting two bonuses tonight, when uh, Ronnie Yaya got the north-south choke, it looked like maybe you had no shot, you know, given Mike's knockout and, and that, and you end up with, with two of them. So d does that put you in the record now, or does that put you ahead of... Uh I think it puts me ahead of Lytle. I think Lytle had it, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And were you, you know, I know you're one of the guys that kind of pays attention to that. When you were in the back, were you paying attention to the other fights, and did oh, you know yeah. you had to do something dramatic? Absolutely. You know, I, I thought that I had a chance at both, you know, and then I wasn't sure when the, the Brandon Vera Shogun fight was going on. You know, it started out hot and heavy, so I thought that they might have taken fight of the night, but I'm, I'm thrilled that I got both, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm even happier that I got the record. Uh, thank you all. Um, fantastic show, everybody. Uh, Mike Swick, just wanted to say thank you for living up to the name of Clutch City. So way to go. Uh, Nam Fan, um, how worried were you when you heard uh, one judge uh, giving it to Cole Miller? And uh, how, wor how worried were you? And uh, I saw your reaction. Uh, you, you looked a little dumbfounded. Yeah, I was a little worried. Um, I thought I beat him all three rounds. It, even the second round, he did a little bit better. But I thought I got the better punches in the second round. So... Um, I was a little worried because split decisions don't usually go my way, but I was happy it went my way tonight. Uh, for Lyoto, please. Uh, Lyoto, we were all a little surprised at the weigh-ins when you came in at 201 pounds. Um, can you explain why you were that weight, and would you expect to be there again in a title shot, or would you be looking to, to get bigger? I had a, a, a hard training for this, for this fight, great camping, and... Maybe I lose a lot of weight for this fight. I don't know why, but it's happened. <laughs> Fair enough. And for Mike, it, obviously an emotional night for you. Can you talk about just, you know, put it into words now you've had a moment to reflect on it. And, you know, was there ever a, a time you were concerned you weren't going to be here? Uh, I mean, it's still hard to put into words, and it, it feels amazing. You know, uh, it, I just pushed forward and, and, and hoped something like this would happen. And uh, to be sitting here after a big fight on Fox, I, I can't put into words right now, honestly. And just one for Dana, uh, please. So much was made about the disappointment in the last card. This one obviously turned out to be a fantastic one. You know, what were your emotions coming in? Were there any nerves going into the night or as the night was progressing that, you know, let's keep this thing going? And, and how rewarding is it to have this type of a fight on Fox? I sweat them all, man. The big ones, the little ones, they're all taking years off my life, man. I sweat every one of these. You know, uh, I say it all the time. We do all the... We put on all the bells and whistles. These guys are our partners, and they always come in and deliver. They really do. You know, you can't always have great barn burners and everything, but it's, it's going to happen sometimes. But for the most part, these fighters always deliver, and they deliver tonight. And it, it's just, uh, yeah, I'm not angry. I'm not going to have a shitty next three days. You know, I'm going to have a couple of good days coming up, so I'm happy. Dana, question for you right here in front. What's, what's next for Phil Davis and Wagner Prado? Yeah, that was weird, huh? Um, I, me and Joe were talking, you know, maybe we put him on that, uh, maybe we put him on that brown card, you know, the brown move from here to that, uh, I think it's a That's fuel October. card. Huh? Travis Brown, you mean? Yeah, Minneapolis. Yeah. Uh, so we'll pr pr probably put those guys, provided his eye is okay and doesn't have any problems, we'll, we'll move him to that card. And Joe, question for you. Obviously, that was an amazing fight. How much damage did you take, and, and how worried were you about getting knocked out after the Pettis fight? Uh, I really wasn't worried. You know, that, I feel like the Pettis fight was just an isolated fight. You know, I didn't think it had any bearing on this fight. Um, you know, I, I got some, you know, quite a few lumps in my head. My, my elbow's pretty sore from the end of the fight. Uh, but overall, I feel good. You know, I'm just a little, a few, few bumps and bruises. Yeah. You're going to be making any loans to anybody anytime soon? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this question is for Dana. Um, so, so it's been over two and a half years that you, you've had Mike Swick in, uh, in the win column. 
and, uh, and on stage. What, what was your emotion like watching him, you know, walk out and, you know, standing ovation from the crowd and now, you know, sitting here and after that amazing performance? I hate talking so good about him because it's, it sounds bad toward DeMarcus. You know what I mean? I like DeMarcus, but he's one of the originals from The Ultimate Fighter. It couldn't happen to a nicer. He's such a good guy. He's such a good fighter. He's explosive. He's exciting. He always comes to knock people out. He's, you know, I couldn't say enough good things about him, but DeMarcus said it best. You know, I, I loved his, his quote in, in, the, in the feature. I've got a 50-50 shot of winning this fight, but there's a 100% chance somebody's getting knocked out tonight. You know, and, and that was what that fight was like. From the minute that fight started, they both started banging. To give it to, to DeMarcus, and, and you media people know because you're sitting as close as I am, Every time Swick hits you, man, that, you can hear the crack throughout the arena. He hits hard, and, and, and DeMarcus took his shots, came back, you know, had Swick in trouble, so in, and ring rust is something I absolutely believe in. He didn't have any ring rust tonight, in, in my opinion. His skills looked good, but he was hurt and tired in that second round when he went out there and made it happen. Impressive. He looked awesome, and what a way to kick off the night, man. It's just, I couldn't be happier and I couldn't be more proud of him without sounding goofy. Now, now if, I, if I may uh, follow up, um, that, that was the best you know, performance in, in Brennan uh, Vera's career, in my opinion. Um, you know, w w watching him, you know, take those hard shots, you know. The, and giving them back. And giving them back. Again, w what's, what's your take on that? And Brennan, can I get your take? Where, where did you find it in yourself to, you know, to take those shots and, and survive? I tweeted in the first round, Brandon Vera fights like he wants this tonight. He's fighting like he wants this tonight. And like I said, the performance that he put on tonight was amazing. He told me at the last press conference that that's exactly what he was going to do, and he went out and did it. And, and I know for a fact, and then halfway, when Shogun came in, Shogun's a huge fan favorite. People love Shogun. And halfway through the fight, they started chanting Vera. And it's one of those things, Brandon Vera got his respect back tonight. You know, people were disrespecting him coming into this fight. And uh, he got his respect back tonight, and he deserves every ounce of it. Leoto, did you did you watch the Shogun fight, and what did you think about you know how it was going to uh, pan out in the most impressive fight as you watched it? Você viu a luta do do Shogun e que que você achou que qual que você achou que ia ser mais impressionante, a sua ou a do Shogun com Vera? It's very hard to say. It's very hard to say because talking about myself is. Very hard to say. Maybe my knockout was more impressive. Shogun, do you think that your fatigue after the right here to your right? Do you think your fatigue after the after the first round is what cost you from getting the title shot? That you know you looked a little tired. That you're having some issues in the second and third round. Did you feel like that's what cost you, or do you think that, do you think that this is a fair decision by Dana? o title shot foi de ter cansado depois do primeiro round não tô tranquilo é, a minha obrigação é, é, é dar meu melhor lutar e o outro conseguiu a chance e eu vou continuar tendo duro e esse é o meu trabalho that's okay I respect the decision uh, I will keep training and uh, if the Lioto has the chance good luck and let's move on what about the fatigue issue after the first round E eu sobre o cansaço, você achou que você cansou no, no Yo, man, you act like I wasn't pushing the pace, man. <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. Everybody wants to talk about Shogun being tired. Mother, I was pushing the pace, man. You think he's just tired because he's out of shape and he, he showed up not in the fight? Come on, man, get off that, man. I guess that's the answer to that question. Uh, <laughs> next question. This question for Shogun. Now that you're not going to get that title shot, it's tough Brazil. That's definitely something you want in the near future. Se, já que você não vai ter o title shot, se lutar no Brasil no futuro é, um, é uma ideia? Com certeza, meu futuro é lutar, eu vivo disso, esse é meu trabalho. Então, onde for eu vou lutar e eu vivo disso e minha felicidade é essa. Eu estou feliz de lutar, eu só quero continuar lutando e vamos ver o que está acontecendo, o que o UFC vai uh, decidir para mim, para o meu futuro, e vamos ver. E Lioto, um would you prefer to see John Jones and get a rematch, or do you just kind of indifferent about who might win that fight September 1st? Doesn't matter for me. Brandon, can you talk about the comeback and just, you know, despite a loss, you know, what it means to you to, to have a, an impressive performance and be in the great graces of uh, Dana White? Right you now. know, uh, 
I got to talk to Dana while we were uh, in the back. You know, it's a lot of trash coming out of people's mouths. And like Dana said, man, people forget real quick. And uh, tonight, man, I wanted to put on a performance of my life. I got to fight one of my heroes and uh, fight somebody who I've looked up to ever since before I got into the game. Uh, the outcome wasn't what I wanted, man, but I think you guys enjoyed the fight, man. So this is for all the haters. You know which finger's yours. <laughs> <laughs> he meant this one. <laughs> Next Nim, question. Nim, you were you were watching uh, there during the uh, Varner fight a little bit, and, and Demarcus and Swick there, hoping that you would get that fight of the night. Are you a little disappointed that you didn't get another fight of the night bonus? Oh, I mean, getting a fight night bonus always always great, right? But you know, I'm happy the guys that got it. They definitely earned it. Questions for Joe. Um, congrats on the win, the submission of the night, and the fight of the night. How um, was your game plan to go in there and to just box with Farner and you know get him hurt and then end up submitting him? Is that your game plan? Uh, boxing wise, the only thing we were worried about was his overhand right. And in the second round, he broke his hand, and I, I, I knew he hurt his hand, so I wasn't. I had zero fear, zero worry about anything. So it ended up being a little more boxing. But uh, you know, I always want to get the fight on the ground. You know, I'm a jujitsu guy first. Uh, I love to ground and pound. I love to set up submissions. Uh, but for me to go out there and just shoot a takedown right off the bat, he's going to see it coming, and I'm going to have to pay for it. So i I got to use my hands to set up my takedowns. Marcus Kovac from MMA on MMA Minutes. Uh, Dana, um, Shogun doesn't get the title shot. What would you give him next? Potentially Alex Gustafsson? Yeah, I don't know. You know, we'll talk to Shogun and see, what, uh, see what's next for him. We won't, you know I don't make those decisions tonight. We'll figure it out, though. Um, Fliora Machida, um, para Bains. and uh, what would you, uh, how would you prepare differently for um, the win if it, if it is John Jones in a rematch with John Jones? I don't know. It's too early to think about, but my 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 last camp against John Jones was great. I have to change something. I have to improve my wrestling. Maybe I think this. Lastly, for Shogun, uh, it looked just as as the knockout was about to happen, that Renovere was adjusting his mouthpiece. Was it something that you realized and took advantage of? See, logo depois do knockout. Ah, eu percebi, eu, é, o Bruno Vera é um ótimo lutador na parte em pé e realmente é um cara duro. E eu vi, eu vi que a luta podia acabar ali e aproveitei o momento. I saw that was that, that moment. Uh, Brando was a tough guy, was a good fight on stand. And uh, I just wait for the, the right opportunity and that's it, the, the KO. And lastly, for Brandon, you looked so pumped in there. Thank you for a great fight. And uh, even in the second round, you were, you know, chanting to the to the to the crowd. Where's that new motivation from? You know, man. Uh, for a long time, I said this in some of my interviews. You know, I uh, I started taking my job here in the UFC for granted. I uh, I kind of fell off the track, the beaten path or the unbeaten path, and uh, I stopped training like I was fighting against the best guys in the world. I figured that. Just me being Brandon Vera, a.k.a. the truth, you know, people would be nervous, and when I fight them, they would back off. It's not like that here, man. This is, this is a place of champions, and uh, it's been a hard knock lesson, but I've learned it. I had a great time fighting tonight, man. I'm just going to press forward, brother. I'm not going to stop training. I'll probably take five days off, let my eyes calm down a little bit, then get right back into the gym. <laughs> but I'm not done, man. Not by a long shot. My book's still open. We're still writing chapters. We're going to make this happen. I'm going to get that damn title ship one way or another. This question's for Brandon Vera. I think you put on an amazing fight tonight, but I want to know what your thoughts are on your performance side to, for tonight. I, uh, I wholeheartedly enjoyed it, man. Shogun, thank you. That fight was cool, man. It was, uh, I wanted to put on a performance tonight, man, so people would never talk bad about the UFC. And, you know, I wanted Shogun to know that how much I respect him is how hard I was fighting him. And, uh, I wanted to prove everybody wrong, man. I'm not done, not by a long shot. If 
Five rounds suck, though. <laughs> like, I thought I was in shape, man. We got to that fourth round. I was like, Jesus, what's going on? Well, let's push, let's push. And Shogun just kept pushing, you know. Uh, that's the first time I've ever been in deep water. Um, I don't remember the TKO. I don't remember what he hit me with, but I remember he hit me once, and my mouthpiece kind of came half out, and I tried to fix it real quick. He hit me with another shot. Next thing I knew, Dean was like, you okay? I was like, dang, he got me. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for the Yoto, congratulations. That was a masterful performance. Um, you know, we would call that a shutout or a flawless victory. Uh, do you think that's like the highest level of martial arts? You, you touch him, he, he did not even be able to touch you. Falou que foi uma vitória de mestre. Você acha que isso é a essência da arte marcial, você encostar nele sem ele conseguir te encostar? That's what I try, even in my camp to try that, to try no hit punch, no got a punch. Then I try to, de, to do this in the fight. Okay. Oh, so I'm sure your father's very happy. <laughs> and for Brandon, I was wondering, did you hear the crowd in the second round right before you, you got the takedown? And also in the fourth round, did you hear the crowd go, go crazy, start chanting your name? I did. Thank you guys from the UFC, man. I didn't get to speak on the mic, man, but I've never experienced anything like that, man. And it was cool, bro. It reminded me of uh, Rocky when he was fighting Ivan Drago. Everybody was rooting against him at first. But when they started banging it out and he was still in there, everybody started chanting his name. That's exactly what I was feeling. And I knew I was doing work, you know, against one of the legends, bro, against one of the legends. So, you know, I'm not happy I lost, but I'm happy I fought the way I did. And yes, when the time comes around again, I would love to do that again with Shogun. Awesome. Mike Swick, I just wanted to say welcome back. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, last questions for uh, Lioto. Excuse me. Um, in this fight, a lot of kicks the first round and then more distracting hands, a lot of playing with the hands to distract Bader. Could you explain what that was about or you just felt that in the moment? I just felt in the moment, and I just felt in the moment. Yeah. Thank you. We'll take one more question. If, for Brandon, if I could, please. Uh, you, you touched on it a little bit, but uh, are, you, are you the type of guy that believes in moral victories? I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, this is a loss, but you're receiving so much praise. You know, when you think back on this, are, are you a moral victory kind of guy, or is this just a loss for you? You know, usually I just worry about records, you know, <laughs> whether I won or whether I lost, whether you get to sign for that extra second check or not. It's kind of a big deal. But, uh... I can't hang my head on this one, man. I cannot, man. I, I proved to myself, to my fans out there that, you know, I'm not, not going anywhere. I'm still in the mix. I'm gunning for that top five, man. I'm going to be back, hopefully not for a five-rounder, but <laughs> not till I need to. <laughs> but I'm a, I, w I guess you would say, yeah, I, I believe in the moral victory today. And Dana, just one quick one for you. I know you don't like to make decisions on next fights and things like that, but some people are saying while Brandon could have gotten a title shot tonight, if he lost, maybe he could get cut as well. Is the performance that he put on tonight enough for you to safely say that we'll see him are again? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Woo! Crazy. Yeah. Stupid question of the year award right there for you. Two, two guys raised their hands over here right before I said it. I'll, I'll let you guys ask your questions. Maybe three of you. Did you two? Yeah, and you. Okay. Appreciate it, Dana. Thank All you. Right. Um, a question for Shogun. It was an amazing fight, but in the first round, you actually came out to wrestle. You, you took uh, Brandon Vera down. Was that your plan, and, and why did you choose to grapple with Brandon Vera? Por que você escolheu no primeiro round o solo, né? O wrestling e derrubou ele. Qual foi a, a escolha? É, o plano era é, trocar em pé. Eu treinei para trocar em pé, mas se eu tivesse para levar para o chão, trabalharia o chão. É, então, é... Eu treinei tudo na verdade para para onde estaria na luta estar confortável. I train hard for the different situations, you know, on the ground and on stand. My thoughts that what the the fight gonna be on, on stand, but in that moment the fight goes to the ground and I I already I train hard to to do this. And then a question for Lioto Machida. Lioto, your friend Anderson Silva said a couple months ago that he thought no Brazilian would be able to beat John Jones anytime soon. If John does get past Dan Henderson, do you think you'll prove him wrong? O Anderson falou que nenhum brasileiro ia poder ganhar do John Jones tão próximo. O que você acha? 
quem é o próximo? Não. Daqui a muito tempo que alguém poderia vencer dele. Você acha que você é o cara? I have believed myself. For sure, I can beat him. Luz. Hey, thanks, Dana. Um, yep. This is for Shogun. Uh, a few days ago, you had a, your fight was going to be the only fight to determine the top contender. Obviously, things changed in a few days after that. Do you think, uh, looking back on it, what were you, your thoughts on that? And you know, do, do you, did you think your fight would still maybe get the benefit of the doubt? Que uns dias atrás a tu, só a tua luta ia decidir o próximo desafiante, né? E com essa mudança, como é que se vê isso? Quer dizer, se tem algum arrependimento, alguma coisa que que você mudaria em relação a isso? Não, acho que o Lioto é a top 5 da categoria. O Raibê também é um cara que é top 10, então eu achei justo qualquer uma das duas lutas, é, o vencedor é, se credenciar a luta para o cinturão. Então eu achei super justo. All the four guys were ready to, to fight for the belt. I think uh, Liot is a top five and he deserves right now to, to be the, the next contender and, and wait, let's wait for my opportunity. And a question for Dana, do you have a ratings goal for tonight? You know, I, uh, the Olympics are doing really well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the, no uh, Avengers. Huh? No Avengers. Yeah, but the, uh, you know, most of the networks aren't really airing anything serious exactly. for the two weeks that the Olympics are on. So, you know, I told these guys yesterday after the weigh-ins, if people are fucking channel surfing, they better have a reason to stay on Fox. Yeah. Let's go out there and they did it, man. They did it. I don't, listen, I don't want, I, I shouldn't 2. say 5, that. 2.5 maybe, something like that. I'm going to go say something and get myself in trouble again. <laughs> whatever happens, whatever the ratings is on Monday, seriously, these guys did it tonight. They delivered. I, I really, I'm, I'm not even thinking about it. We put on a great performance tonight here in Los Angeles. The place was jam-packed. Ticket sales were awesome. We did a $1.1 million gate to a, uh, a, a fight that is available in every home on free television. And uh, these guys went on and put on an amazing show tonight, an incredible performance, and whatever the number is, it is. I, I honestly and truly feel that way. Okay. I work for Dave Meltzer, so I have to ask. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Got it. Cool. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thanks for coming out tonight. We appreciate you.